everyone, Skytrack 13 meteorologist Sean Ash finally having a chance to catch my breath around here. Unfortunately, it was a very active afternoon, and the threat for severe weather over for central Indiana. Unfortunately, uh, the same cannot be said for our friends across the deep south. Still some violent tornadoes in progress across southern Tennessee, and uh, may have more tornadoes overnight tonight. They've had the really big tornadoes now. We had our fair share of uh, high wind across central Indiana. Numerous reports of uh, semis flipped over onto their side. A lot of wind gusts in the 60 to 70 mile per hour range. And you can see that, uh, that tornado icon there south of Indy that was in Johnson County. In fact, uh, National Weather Service office confirming an EF1 tornado. Wasn't on the ground very long. But the first one we've had in December since 2004 and just the 17th on record in 65 years during the month of December. So a rare event for sure. This is kind of the radar velocity data west of the actual location at around 345-ish, give or take. And uh, it was on the ground briefly. I mean, it was uh, not even a mile long based on the survey from the meteorologist in charge out there, Dan McCarthy. Um, touching down initially around Reston Road and then lifting up just to the north of Smith Valley Road. So, tornado watch expired. Uh, the threat for severe weather is over. There is just a very slim chance we may have something pop up along a front that's pushing through. You are going to notice a big change early in the morning behind the front. And though it's much cooler tomorrow, it's still above normal. I mean, 41, that's actually above the high we would expect for this uh, time of year much brighter tomorrow before some clouds begin to increase if you've got some shopping plans or if you're just making your travel trip tomorrow uh, over to your family or friends a pretty quiet day across uh, not only central indiana but also the ohio valley as uh, we'll start to see those clouds creeping in here's your christmas eve forecast a milder than normal day we're back into the 50s now clouds will set up shop over the central indiana area heading into friday morning christmas morning more than likely a little more bark than bite, but uh, we are still keeping in shower chances. And even far southern Indiana might have a couple of rumbles of thunder. And then eventually as we get into the weekend here, the train tracks for heavy rain and thunderstorms will be laid right across central Indiana. We do get uh, south of a front. You can see 49 in Chicago. Uh, Mid-60s on Saturday with uh, a good chance of all-day rain and heavy thunderstorms on Saturday as well as Sunday heavy rain and Monday more rain. Next seven days we're, we're again talking easy three to six inches the way it's looking here. Here's the updated SkyTrack 13 seven day forecast. Notice the average high 37. We won't even approach that until the middle of next week and then once that arrives we may actually see more of a winter like pattern set up for a little bit here and get closer to normal. So that's how it's all shaken down. We'll have an update at reporters out in the field for covering the damage here tonight on the night beat at 11 o'clock. Stay safe and if you can't tune in, hope you enjoy the holiday season.